Hi, I'm Joshua Smith, and welcome to another episode of Cultimax News Roundup. Now, this past week was full of great tech news, but we've got you covered on what you might have missed, like iOS devices held for ransom, Apple's big Beats acquisition, and even an Apple iWatch. Well, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. As Apple's Developers Conference, WWDC, is just days ahead with news about the newest version of the Mac OS X and of course also iOS 8, some of that news has actually been reported ahead of time, as iOS 8 is expected to become more of a universal remote for the things in your home, making it a smart home. While many people control things like Nest thermostats and say hue lights from their third party apps, Apple is looking to culminate all of these things and more directly into one place in the new iOS. Now this can add a whole new element to the spectrum of control between your iOS devices and your home, and it should be exciting to see how it all plays out when the conference begins this coming Monday, June 2nd. And more iOS hackings continue as this week it was reported that Australia has been the latest hit where people are remotely locking people's devices and not letting them go until they're paid to do so. Apple has yet to comment on the issue but if there's any tip we can offer it's to make sure you switch up those Apple ID passwords and use Touch ID. Definitely a scary thought, our very own Luke Dormel has more on the hackings on Coltamac.com and you can let us know what you think about all of them in the comment section below. And pretty soon, it looks like it's going to be quite easy to talk to anyone you want thanks to a new tool called Skype Translator. The latest enhancement for the hit video chat app Skype in cooperation with Microsoft, the tool is supposed to translate live speech of any language while in your chats. English to German, Japanese to English, it can handle it all. Currently the new tool is only in its early stages and only supports a few languages, but it's expected to be pushed out in beta form by the end of the year. Now this is something I'm sure a lot of Apple fans are looking forward to or at least have wanted for quite some time. Just this week it was reported that an Apple analyst spent time in Taiwan at Apple supply chain and suggests that an Apple iWatch is on the way. Rumors are rumors but could also be true and if so you can expect to see a more rounded watch face on this smartwatch similar to the Moto 360. I personally wear a Pebble smartwatch all the time and I'm really waiting for Apple to enter the smartwatch market but what would you want from an Apple iWatch? Let us know in the comment section. It's official, it's official, it's official. Apple sealed the deal this week and confirmed their acquisition by purchasing the hit audio electronics company Beats by Dre for $3 billion. $2.6 billion in cash and $400 million in stocks I'd say Jimmy Iovine and Dr. Dre are quite happy about now in this massive acquisition and their new positions working with Apple. Apple CEO Tim Cook stated that the two are guys with very rare skills and I must say I'm interested to see where Apple goes with this. Just a day after the big announcements, Beats by Dre updated their catalog with a new version of one of their most popular models in the form of the Solo 2s. And Buster Hine has more on the acquisition and more on you know it, Coltimac.com. And last but not least, more leaked images of the iPhone 6 definitely suggest something we haven't quite thought of yet. An Australian iPhone repair site, known for previously posting leaked images, has posted another, hinting at the next generation of the phone having a glowing Apple logo on the back. Now I'll say the glowing Apple on MacBooks is one of the things that made me fall in love with Apple at first, and I'd love to see this come true when the phone is rumored to release this fall. Would you like your iPhone to have that extra glow? Well for now, we'll just have to see how it all pans out. There you have it, a big week of news brought right to you in just minutes, and we'll be here next week to do it all again. Make sure that you stay tuned to Coltimac TV to stay informed on all the best how-tos, tips, reviews, and more. Let us know what you think about the stories, give us a thumbs up if you like the vid, we appreciate your support. And don't forget to click subscribe to make sure you don't miss a new roundup of fresh news next Friday, and other cool content posted every single day of the week. This has been Joshua Smith of Coltimac.com, and I will catch you later.